All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New Game Thursday. Today, I ran into this game that has been around for the better part of a year now. It's called Bodency RP. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Clearly looks like another take on first responder RP. It's got quite a bit of visits, 3.1 million. Pretty impressive if you ask me. Let's jump in and check this one out. Oh no, and as I'm loading into the menu, everything seems to be in what I presume to be German maybe? I'm not too sure. Somebody let me know down in the comments below. I'm still gonna try to play. I don't know how far I'm gonna get with the language barrier and all. Here's the language selection, perfect. Yes, so thank you, that's what I was looking for. Welcome to our game. In order to continue playing, you must accept our rules. You must follow the Roblox terms of service. You are not allowed to shoot randomly and without any RP situation. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Before you shoot, you need to warn the person first via chat. Really, you guys? What is this? A private server and ERLC gone rogue? The only reason why you do not need to warn the person is in a bank robbery or active shooting. Well, wait a minute. Why would there be an active shooting if everybody needs to announce that you are shooting first via the chat? That doesn't make sense. Wouldn't we already know there's a shooting going on? Anyway, you will not glitch, troll, abuse caps, hack, or exploit. Okay. Please Please note that not all rules are listed here, please use common sense. Alright you guys, whoever wrote this message, have you guys played Roblox before? Do you guys know how Roblox works? Alright, whatever though, we're gonna agree to this and it's just a little funny to me so forgive me you guys, forgive me. So if I remember correctly, if you press M, this will bring up the menu and yes it does. Oh man, continuing with the language barrier though, I thought I had translated this to English. That looks like it says police though, policia, polisa, I'm not saying that correctly, I'm just gonna stop there. By the way Zanies, it's that time of year, we are quickly approaching the end of 2022 and thus will mark the end of the 2022 Zany official hoodie. They're currently still only 10 Robux, very inexpensive. Remember, new official Zany hoodies are made every single year and once the new batch is released and dropped, the old batch will skyrocket all the way to 100,000 Roblox, making the previous collection a true collector's item. Make sure you're an early owner of all this official Zany merch. And in case you guys don't know, all of this merch can be found in the Roblox avatar store directly or you guys can join the group and shop the store directly from the group. In either case, this is the only way to get your official Zany merch. You have until the end of December and come January 1, the new merch will be dropped and I cannot wait to show you guys the new design of the official Zany hoodie. There we go though, I am now part of the police team and ooh, pretty nice interface, look at this. I get what appears to be a walkie talkie or something on the right hand side, I am logged into some sort of frequency here, which totally makes sense, I'm gonna X out of that though. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Can I put on a uniform? All right, so I was able to get that. Maybe just walking up to things. Yeah, it seems like it. I don't know why I can't put on the uniform though. Interesting. All right, I'm having a hard time with the uniform and maybe I'll just kind of bypass the uniform. It's not really doing anything for me. I got the duty belt, I got the vest. Can I change the vest? No, I can't change the vest either. Looking at the taser and the gun here, I need a game pass for this. And okay, let me buy the game pass. I'm pressing E. Why am I not being allowed to buy this? I don't understand what is happening. You guys, I am legitimately clicking E. Maybe hold E? Nope, that's not doing it either. All right, well, whatever. I didn't want to buy the game pass anyway. I just wanted to see how much it cost. Moving over to the next room. I don't know what this is. Oh, looks like hearing protection for target practice. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go check out the other room, though. That's the jail. I can see that clearly. Okay, nice chill there. Nice chill there. And we have a couple people that are wanted. Maybe a missing cat. Somebody else is missing here. Okay, okay. I like the layout. I like the layout. What's in here? Some more target practice? No, looks like some... Doors to somewhere. Oh, doors to a restroom. Okay. All right. What about this side? Looks like the front office. Okay, I'm digging it. And back in here to the locker room. I still cannot put on a uniform. Got it. Whatever. Where do I go to spawn a vehicle? This is the range. I don't want to go back to the range. That's the restrooms. This is the jail. 
So that tells me that this is going to be the front book player holding H. There is nobody to book. Maybe I got to have a player with me, which is understandable. Let me get out of here, though. I just want to go to the front, man. Just get me out of here. Get me out of here. All right. How do I spawn a vehicle? That's the real question here. Here we go. I see a green block. This is normally good. But nope, nothing to spawn a vehicle with. What about back here? Here we go. I see spawn points. Perfect. And this item is not currently for sale. All right. Not even going to tell me what item that is. Got it. Buy a helicopter for 400 Robux. I don't think I want to do that. And yes, finally, it looks like I'm spawning a vehicle of sorts. Maybe a Volkswagen. Yes, awesome. And here we go. I see the siren interface immediately. All right, I kind of like it. Very simplistic. I don't know what any of this is doing. And I do like the menu. It seems pretty easy and pretty straightforward. If you guys see, if I press F1, it sort of toggles with the little language up here in that little bar, the little marquee, if you will. And if I press F3, it toggles with that light. It seems to be a spotlight of sorts. I'm not getting anything when I click on F4. I'm definitely not getting much of anything when I click F2 either. Um, so I don't know. If you guys speak German, or if you guys know what's going on here, please let me know down in the comments below. My vehicle also does not want to move. Here we go. And I've already sort of gathered that I need to use manual controls to control the vehicle. And yes, here we go. Perfect. All right. Out on patrol we go, Zanies. Out on patrol we go. Let's see who we can catch. Is there even any players? I think there is. So let's go find someone and figure out what we can do. I do like the city layout, I gotta admit. I'm not like all the little nooks and side roads that can be found all throughout the map. I'm not really seeing much of anything else, so. And forward up here, I see a vehicle that stopped. Let's see what this vehicle is doing. Hello, sir, or ma'am. Are you in here? No, they are not in here. They've sort of abandoned their vehicle. And so if I get nowhere with this game, I don't think it's going to be anything to do with the game. I think it's going to be due primarily to the language barrier here. I'm obviously not understanding a lot of the prompts here. Even the chat, if you guys look in the left hand side there, the chat is definitely ongoing and active, but I just don't understand what is happening. So that is definitely the problem here, though. I like the map, though. I got to say that much. I do like the map. Let me try to jump over into another team and see if I can figure out what's going on. Yes, walking around the station here. Oh, yes, and that let me put on the uniform. Looks like some kind of SCBA. I don't know what this is. We're going to step on it, though, and nothing happens. Okay. Same thing as before. Ooh, there's another player here. Hi. And he says, YouTube AHDPS. I don't know what that means. Now I'm going to follow him. I don't know where he's going or what he's doing. Ooh, but there's a truck out here. Can I use this truck? I don't think I can use that truck, right? That would be silly. That would be too obvious. And the uniforms are there. Okay, this is a little bit easier to understand, I think. The doors are opening. Perfect. But where do I spawn a vehicle? Over here. All right. Much easier to understand what is happening on this side. And yes, look at this Audi. Wow. Gorgeous looking car. I like it. We're going to turn the engine on. We're going to turn on some sirens. And we are off. going to try to work my way to that little icon there. It seems to be the icon for a fire. I could be completely wrong. Let's try there and check it out. Pulling up to where I believe there is a fire. Here we go. What is this person doing? I don't know. But we're here though. What to do now? What to do now? Oh, is this maybe just a spawn point? It seems like players are just spawning here. Well, why would that be an ongoing waypoint as you're driving around? I don't think I understand that. This definitely seems to be the spawn point, though. I'll have to go back and look at the footage. Yeah, that's a theater room. Nothing much of anything. That's maybe just a city logo or something. Can I get into anything else, though? Doesn't seem like it. All right, let me try yet one more team. This, I have no idea what it is. Looking by the numbers and the crosses, I'm going to assume... This is some kind of medical job. I don't know if it's a nurse, a doctor, a combination, but it's obviously a hospital, right? We have different patient rooms. We have a computer there, which the doctors would otherwise use to work on. And it looks like we have a main lobby here. Okay. 
Where do we have like the uniforms though? Here we go. All right, I'm able to get that, but I can't get a helmet. I can get a vest. Yeah, I can get a helmet though. And then maybe a duty belt. Yep, got a duty belt. And that's about it. What if I go outside? Is there anything out here? No, there's nothing out here. Let me zoom out a bit though. Yeah, this is definitely a hospital of sorts. Okay. Downstairs now, boys, and also out here, I am not seeing much of anything. Could this be some kind of garage or something? Yes, it looks like it is. Do I see spawn points? I think I might. I do. Gonna spawn this vehicle. This is definitely some kind of medical transportation, some kind of ambulance. Let's drive around town with this one as well. Let me check out this building while we're here. Oh, this is a hospital. Okay, so what's that? Oh, no, and there goes my vehicle. Ha! Huh. Bye, car. Nice knowing you. So this is the actual hospital, it looks like. Now that I have a coffee, I'm gonna continue to work my way around. Yes, this is definitely the hospital. All right, so the other building I was in must have been offices or something, because this is the hospital. This really is the hospital here. Wow, and look at the detail. I like it. Yeah, I have no problem with the environment in this game. It's sort of the interface and what to do. The, the what to do part, it's what's getting me right now. I don't know what to do. There doesn't appear to be any call outs. I don't think I'm understanding the way the waypoints work. Aside from that, I think the game is very well designed to be honest with you. This is a very good looking hospital. All right, Zanies, but I, I feel like I'm getting nowhere. So I think that's gonna do it for this video. Let me know what other first responder type games you guys want me to check out. Some of these are really, really fun. This one, it seems like it has potential, but I don't know if it's still in development or kind of working its way out of beta. I really don't know. But in either case, give me your recommendations down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, long live the zanies.